Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Shapebreaker, a roguelike deck building tower defense game, which is a genre combo you don't see very often, but every time I've seen it and I've played one, I've very much enjoyed it. So curious to see what this game's take on it will be. It is only $3 on Steam in early access, meaning there is still active development going on for this game. So keep that in mind. But alas, $3. Hey, what are you going to do? So we got a bunch of cards here, three mana to spend. And it looks like we have we have mazing, which is nice to see. So we could we do like a little bit of uh ah. Is it a good idea to do mazing? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but we also have looks like damage cards there. Splash mod. Increase the splash area of a tower by one, but reduce its attack speed by 20%. Uh, sure. And then let's increase the maze then to make it so that they are in radius of this one for a little bit longer. All out of mana. Or energy, probably. Oh, come on. Don't you dare leak on the first wave. <laughs> Don't you dare leak on the first area. Uh, damage mod. Let's put that on our splashy boy. And then what's your radius? Do you fire when they're up here though? Like, is this, how how rigid is that, that circle? I guess we'll go for this one. I like how the little, uh, the turret gets bigger. So we got that splash there. This guy's gonna be doing the uh, extra, ooh. wait, 10 plus 200%? Yeah, wow, okay. Uh, did not see the percentage on that increase. That is pretty wild. So let's keep it around this guy. We'll go bang, bang, and then we'll get a little bit of uh, a damage upgrade on here. Why not? Sounds good. But yeah, I'm really curious. I did see in the screenshots there's going to be different, you know, modifiers. I imagine that we get to put on our towers. Like there's different shapes, different colors of different towers, everything like that, which I can only imagine means that, you know... We'll get different styles. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Brawn Tower. 16 damage. One attack per second. Two range. What's this? So it's the exact same thing as the basic tower, except it can hold one less module. Curious. Uh, machine Gun is the same thing, but it attacks faster, has less range. Same amount of modules, though. I mean, that's appealing to me. Overload. Tower has a 40% chance to do 3x damage. Has a chance to crit. Uh, it sounds fun, but let's go with the uh, the machine gun. Item reward. Stops shapes from moving for 2 seconds. Okay. Is that an active item, then? It must be. Oh, interesting. Sure. I guess I'll get a damage mod on the machine gun here. So we really wanted to... I guess we could just keep it through here. How many waves are there? Click to see wave info. Five waves. Goes up to 12 there. Wee wee. I mean, I'll just get another damage up. I suppose we could... If we do that, then we're... I don't know. I've, I've kind of janked it a bit here. Kind of janked it a bit here. There's only five waves, though. We might be able to just um, build something like this. And it's actually not that bad. Oh, interesting. So they can't. we can't have them go boom, 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 boom. They try their best to go in a straight, rigid line. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna damage mod for now then. I'll, I'll figure out later. I'll figure it out later what I want to do. Okay, so far so fine, so far so fine. Oof. Splash mod, I suppose I could. I mean, there's no point to put this one here unless we are going to do mazing, but like the thing is that destroys a lot of the radius. He barely will fire. Like, I really just... Yeah, I just shouldn't have... Shouldn't have done it like that. That's all. All there is to it. 
That's a decent enough spot there. What's the radius look like? Is it rigid? Is it rigid? This is a this is a science play right there. I'm going to see. Does this start attacking maybe like here? Unlike what it says, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, about uh, two and a half squares. About two and a half squares. Eh, sure. Fine, whatever. It's a silly thing. I, I messed up. I should have gone for more of a, a a taller maze here and put this on the end, like, right here. I think that would have been a, a little bit more optimal, but I don't think it's going to... At least I hope it's not going to matter this early on. Like, that'd be uh, a problem. All right. It should be okay. Wave four. This is... Uh, just 12 of these guys. If he can handle them without them dying further up, really. Eh, okay, we're fine. Three big boys. There's two big boys in this wave, so three should be just fine. Uh, that being said. Ay, 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 fine. Fine. I just trust the damage up. It seems it seems like that's a really solid way to go, especially if you've got like a one spot that's a little bit more of a prime spot than others. Ooh, this is actually risky. We're gonna have yeah, we're gonna have it, but it was actually kind of close. Uh, would have been way better if we built it up taller there. Bonus shield prevent the next two damage taken. What? Zero cost just prevent the next two damage seems a little wild. Tempo tower. Oh, a little bit less fast firing than the machine gun, but has more module capacity. Vision tower is just a slightly all around better tower. Much better range. Like twice as good range, but only one module. Uh... This is tricky. I, I feel like we're running out of mana to spend. I forgot even we even had that. Decrease movement speed of shapes by 50% for 4 seconds. Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's 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 start. <laughs> let's start mazing. Uh, slap on the bonus shield. So how do we see if there's two of them? I imagine they probably do one. Yeah, they do one damage. We could literally leak this whole thing and it wouldn't matter. That being said, there's no point not to, uh, there's no point in not damaging up. I would really, yeah, I was gonna say, I would really like a machine gun right on the top there. That's fantastic. Know what to do with this. This is an awkward little output. Very awkward little output. How do I fix this without wasting like a lot of towers? I hope there's a zero cost tower that doesn't sh shoot <laughs> at all. Like I, I just want a zero cost that'll basically just sit there. Okay. I mean this is this is good. It'll just sit there, and it will uh, it'll block stuff. Good deal. Don't have any splash yet. And now we like... It's tricky. You kind of want splash earlier than later. And this feels like a really awkward spot for that. I'm really uh, wishing we had that extra range up guy. Put something here. Oh, it's still it's still allowed, huh? Still the that's still the quickest route. Shocking. <laughs> no longer is it the quickest route. Uh, wave four. At this point, I think we just sub. I think we accept that as probably like the best case scenario. Uh, 
How does one uh, increase the game speed? Persist. I do not know. Pressing arrows, WASD, one, two, three, four, tab, space, control. I'm not sure. Surprising, surprising. Cannot find out. Invalid position. Can we, like, sell one? The ability to sell would be really nice. Even if, even if you didn't get any mana back, the ability to sell would still be nice to have. Okay, let's go for... At this point, Splash, who cares, really, right? Like, if, if this far back they make it there and they're still splashable especially because yeah what why would i care about splash on this wave it's got the double up good we should be fine this was fixed better than i thought it'd be oh wave six okay there's a sixth wave a little bit a little bit more concerning i guess um Ooh, boy. Basically, two and a half-ish squares. Two and a half-ish squares. All right. All right. Come on, baby. Okay, so yeah, they, it's, it's very, very rigid. I... I only ask because I've played other tower defense games where that ring is not always one-to-one. -one. Like, sometimes it's a little bit more generous than, than you would think. Burn? Rapid fire? Eight damage? Like, that is... Spicy? It is spicier. It's almost just a better machine gun. Hits cause the target to burn for 75% of the hit damage over a second, but they can only be in afflicted by one burn. Oh. So that is not a rapid fire kind of a thing. That being said, I'm going to take it. I just can't remember these for the life of me. Stop shapes from moving for two seconds. I think it's just because they don't sound exciting. Something about the text box and everything up there and the symbols, they just sort of look like I don't know. Oh, boy, we already got stuff in place. Hey. It's, it's good for us, though. Okay. Buffing up this guy, like, twice with a... Here's the thing. Ooh, a splash. Wait... Burn splash, because it only can happen every second. Attacks per second, one minus 20%. Okay, all right, never mind. I was going to say... What? The triangles are flying! I'm so glad I have my shields. That is... Triangles are flying. Of course, triangles are flying. Of course, the flying shape. Fool I was for thinking otherwise. Uh, I think a machine gun here, like, to preemptively set up for this would be not too bad. That's already doing the job. We don't need to put this one here unless we truly want to. Uh, I'm happy to get a damage up on that because we need to tr set up for the triangles, basically. This is... No, yeah. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this AoE and then burn. It's actually working quite well. Obviously, this is a really good wave for these, too. Yet another burn? You can go for it. They can only be afflicted by one burn. Hmm. So I don't think we want to put it on here. I think we want to wait and have it be a little bit more spaced out. Okay, well, if you do that, then I have to put you here. You know, I think we could slap a burn on this in the event that we get back. 
Hopefully we can remove some cards from our deck at some point because I'd like to get rid of some basic towers. Good, 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 good. Slap that shield on. Wait, five out of what? Seven. Next one is triangles. Eleven triangles. Eleven level two triangles. Okay, so apparently it is a, a scarier triangle. I I would recommend maybe like a slightly different, slightly different symbol for him. Like, you know, maybe a triangle with another ring around it or, or something or a different color or something. Um, I, ideally, something that is not um, an issue for, you know, somebody who is colorblind. I would imagine if, you know, you go that route. But let's see. I'm just wondering if we like tap out early there because we could have this one here go double in on the damage because then it's in radius for the triangles as well and then we could just build something i don't know like if we put it here we might be able to adjust it to have one extra turn in this double damage gatling range i'm loving this fire module one though that is sick i like it And we can definitely have burn on this if we if we want. And I do. I do want. Good. Two two. I'm gonna assume that this is Yeah, I'm just making sure. Assume that this is hitting most of the time down there. Is it relevant for this wave? No. Maybe I should have considered that and put it on this one then, with that in mind. It's clearly, like, it clearly doesn't matter. And burn on this guy sort of stinks a little bit. It's not the worst. But since you can only have one burn on a target, a faster fire rate unit isn't as relevant. That being said, it's also, it does just as much damage. That's just as much damage as this, so it might as it might as well be the burn because it's more likely to have it applied. It'll apply burn to more units. Yeah, no, I take it back. Since since they both do ten damage anyways, it might as well be on this one. There's no reason not to be at the current moment. Uh, final wave is what? Uh, light shapes. We do want splash. This maxed out, right? Yes, it is. I don't know. I don't know if we need another tower there. I think that the uh, the AOE burn boy is actually just going to do so much work. I think that tower combo is amazing. Look at him, look at him thinking. It seems like there's almost some kind of coding in there to like try and have a, a different type of optimal targeting, which that being said, do we have a... Nope, there's there's no targeting system as far as like a prioritize high health, prioritize X, Y, Z. Do we even want another tower? Sniper? Sniper is the most tempting right here, I think. 1.1 per second. One second... I wish we had something with three range and like one module capacity. Like I'm, I'm liking the idea of the sniper tower because we can use it to um, sit back. Wait, what's the difference here? One second, slightly more damage per hit, or slightly more frequent hits. These basically shouldn't even be different towers. Oh god, this stuff. Yep. It's just like I haven't needed them and they're so they just they're so unappealing looking. I don't know. They don't it's not like I already have a difficult time using items. I have too good to use syndrome already. Uh oh, the mystery boy. He does 8 damage. So if we make it to him and we haven't taken any damage, we're just fine. But a flying shape first round. Lots of flying shapes coming out here. 
And this is theoretically going to be the critical path for them no matter what. Oh, so we don't want a maze too high. This is interesting. Like, we might want to just do, like, a really tiny little... What the hell? Is the flying unit going to take this path like that, even if I do this? If I do this and the flying unit takes that path, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. Um, hmm. How to build in a way... Keeps that there. Ugh. It's so weird. It's so weird, but I need to prepare for the, the triangle. They move freaking diagonally. <laughs> they take, they actually, I, sorry. I mean, that, that makes sense. It makes sense that they move diagonally, but I just, I haven't seen something move diagonally yet, so I didn't know. Okay, um. Hmm. Is this in radius enough for me to feel not stupid putting double damage burn on it? Um, it's the next wave. We want, we want fast firing on this. Like I, I may have already beefed it. That was absolutely necessary. So there's the sniper tower. This I wanted to use for like, uh, you know, like situations like this where we needed to build something far back. Okay, more of those. No! <laughs> Makes sense, but no! Alright. Sniper not going to be in... Incredible, incredible for this. Uh, this is still visually up there from before. That would be a good idea to get fixed. So we can take two hits. Oh, I said can, not should, sniper. All right. Still don't have a splash going on. That's, really, that's the one that breaks the camel's back, huh? We fly, we're flying units again. Ay, 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 ay. Twelve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that we built properly enough for it. The damage mod seems kind of crucial. But let's burn. That the burn play was mostly for uh, for next wave. This is turning out just okay. Yeah, like basically flying waves are always like they're chump waves if you have an okay-ish setup. Splash sniper? No. Okay. Shield, nice and free. know who I'd splash mod. It feels strange, but I'm going to do it anyways. It sets them all up early on. Oh my god, the damage is so bad, though. Uh, do I use my item here? Uh, no, I don't. Come on. Yes! 
Burn Sniper! Burn Sniper! I love it! It's beautiful. Truthfully, it's a solid enough spot for it. What, is, what do we got, though? We got triangles. We don't... We don't not want... Sniper for triangles, but we also don't, like, really need sniper triangles. Okay. Oof. When two of the big boy sniper shots go on the same target, that feels like a missed opportunity. That being said, we are so well set up for these. Only one burn per target makes... Sniper, I don't know. Sniper makes that kind of redundant if we choose him to be our guy for that. Um, more triangles. Triangles. Yeah, there's no reason. No reason really for that. Go in there anyways. If we do that, it messes that up. Whatever. We should be fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tab. Caps lock. A S D Z X C. Arrow keys. Control Alt. I have no freaking clue. Doesn't seem like it's click. The clicking it is the answer either. Oh my! What? I was cl I clicked them. Oh my god, it just has a weird hitbox. Okay. Oh, okay, alright. I would say, uh, yeah, a hotkey for these in every tower defense game is absolutely a must. Absolutely a must. Okay. We got a big boy. If we got a big boy, I think we go damage ups. Though, this is a pretty solid enough spot for a sniper. Eh. Oh. Oh, he splits. Okay. Oh, so Splash is actually viable. He's a freaking Moab. Beautiful. Choose a Curio. Unspent energy is not lost at the end of your turn. Gain an energy every time your discard deck is reshuffled into the draw deck. Gain plus three energy each turn. But cards cost an extra one. Um, that's just a net loss for us since we have the zero cost card. Am I wrong? Unless... Like, the world in which this would be better is if we had, like, two cost cards, right? Then we're kind of gaining a little something, something. I guess I could do this and then like, fine, start act two. We'll do this and we'll, we'll think around it, we'll plan around it. Okay. That being said, oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Oh, I thought it was, I didn't even register. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't register that it was going, meeting in the middle right here. I thought it was going, whoop. I didn't see this. Should have known when there was two red things. That is rude. I kind of want to kind of want to set up for a, a faster turret there. We just desperately hope that this is good enough over here. Shoot. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, we're fine. Uh, not what I was looking for, really, if I'm gonna be real. I like a sniper for there, trying to catch any stragglers. <laughs> but, like... Oh, we're gonna really have to... If we put that there instead of here, then we're gonna really have to. No, we couldn't. We couldn't block this anyway. So that's this was always a fine spot. Well, no, because then we could have done this. Then we go. Eh, it's really not that different. I think leaving this spot open for another sniper is valid. So I guess we just put down another basic tower, or I could have, I guess, saved our energy. I don't know. It's a weird thing in this game because that's like it's less clear to me. It's more ambiguous to me if I'm going to succeed in the next wave than it would be that I'm going to succeed in the next, like, fight in uh, Slay the Spire or something. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not... It's a little bit more abstract whether you're stronger than a specific wave. Sometimes you don't know until it shows up. Uh, Omni One Tower. Two cost, 13 damage, 1.3 attacks per second. Why does this cost two? Does three more damage? I, to be fair, it does 30% more damage because the, the way the scaling works. Change element to enrage. Increase damage by 50% for every time it has attacked in the past four seconds. Ah, well, that's obviously uh, going to be great for rapid fire. Oy, 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 oy. This sucks. First wave is what? Oh, you have to click this one? Okay. Um. Oh, one of each. This should be fine. Should be fine. Nice. Rage for sure. Takes five less damage from hits. That's a problem, actually. It's a good thing we have that. But that that is truly actually a, a problem. Oh, oh no, it's not. Well, it is, but like... We block that entirely. Oh, they have completely different things coming. Okay, okay. I thought that the, it would just tell me for both of them. Oh. Okay, well, that's fine. So... This, we want heavier shots. I mean, it, it's fine by me. Yeah, that's the way to go. If he blocks a flat amount of hits, that's gonna be the way to go for that. I unintentionally built properly. <laughs> Thank God. Um, another burn. I guess I could put a burn down here. It's not the stupidest. This is probably not enough anymore. This is now... Yeah, this is now where our weakness is. Okay. Is that going to solve it? I don't think so. Now, the weakness is probably going to be up here. No, I think we... Especially because the way the burn works. I think we... That was it! <laughs> that was it. I might skip, honestly. Like, no matter what. Like, how do I... Is there no... Is there never a time to remove cards from your deck? Because I really don't want this many basic towers. What do I want to take? Wait, what's the what? What's that deal with this? Slightly lower range. But it does huge damage. I'm happy with that actually. I'll, I'll take that. That solves the other type of issue we have. Ooh, weird. 
other type of issue we have. Ooh, strange. Heavy flying shape. If it ignores towers, we can put it out like a little bit more. Two of these is a little bit tricky over there. Hmm. Put it here, and then we block up here. Like a sniper? Uh, we block it up there. We can block up both sides. I like that. Then what can uh, can we do? Oh, that's actually not bad. Uh, I now I think we have an issue over here, but hopefully the sniper will stop it. Die, ah, you son of a gun! I trusted you. I trusted you. Now there's just two of them. Now there's just two of them. Oh, that, that made a difference, though. I mean, it makes sense this doesn't have the damage upgrade yet. Um, slapping that on there for sure, for sure. That was a vine over there. Get that extra shield. Enrage. It's for, like, faster firing. Another burn seems irrelevant. Maybe not on that, though. Okay. Solid enough, solid enough, solid enough. Some damage ups, thank God, thank God. Kind of like our... Oh, did we have extra energy last turn? Hmm. Honestly, I think I save again, if that's the case. Okay, splash mod. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know where to <laughs> drop something right now. Uh, I don't really want the slower fire rate on that. Eight, but they're level two. The overlap might actually be okay here. Not loving it. Not loving it. Not loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. No! Oh. I know we have our items, but I trust. I trust. I trust. Two, two. Damage. Hit me with, uh... Maybe. Dang, old. Damage up. Enrage. I just, like, I have nowhere to put this to stop that over there. I think I, I could have built slightly differently. The good news is the sniper starts shooting on the right long before it's necessarily on the left because of the difference in uh, in speed there. Oh, change? Would you... I... Respect. Respect. Change priority of tower to highest shape. Highest health shape in range. Draw two cards. I'll admit... 
this is really this is a really clever take on on it i actually i'm for it i just who cares about the items right now man like should i care about them yes probably but they're unappealing uh-oh this is what this was flying right okay that was the flying one The high damage fools. Okay. Might as well build that there. It's kind of quirky, but it's valid. Oh, ah, absolutely wrecked. Stop shapes from moving, decrease the movement speed, all shapes take damage equal to 25% of their max health. All right, fine. Gotta be careful not to put this in a spot where... Okay, it's, it's always... Okay. Always flyers there. I guess I trust the right side now after that last round. Okay. It's just a delicate balance. Change priority to highest health shape in the range. Absolutely that one. Go to shield. These zero cost cards seem like they could get out of hand. <laughs> like, I, I see now with the two, two, zero cost, two card draw card. Um, yeah. Like, I could see why we don't have the ability to discard. With that in mind, I guess. Okay. Golden. Just do another last call sniper. Don't mind it. Stops both issues, potentially. Helped me on both sides. Hey, why not? Splash? No. No splash. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. I'm going to save that extra one. Pistol should be viable for both. Oh, that's just the final wave. Hey. I I don't understand how that's legal. We're getting so many of these. All right, this will be the last one we do here. Let's see this son of a gun of a boss, man. Huh. Fragile shape takes five extra damage from hits? What? Just, I think it's important to just get our setup started. Ah, so there's like a max cap there. I like it. I like it. I like it. Come on, man. What next? More. So this is a rapid fire guy. Okay. Discards a random card. Interesting. Or does it discard this? If you draw the same one, does it discard it again? Is that what's happening? So far, so fine. We got all of our spells. Stop, slow, big damage. I 
know what I want to have burn. Like, the sniper feels... Feels a little silly to have the sniper burning this late. Because of the overflow on these, but... Maybe it's not going to be overflowing as much as I think. Wait. Yeah, how does that working? It's not... It's, is it discarding? It sure looks like it is. I think we get set up for the next one. So we want a we want a pistol or a which we have not drawn, I guess. We want a pistol or a a rapid fire there. There's the pistol. That being said, do we want the pistol? I mean, if the everything else is anything to go off of, then maybe not. Well, I guess there's a clean spot for it. We might as well. Really perfect clean spot. Damage up. Get enraged going on that. Is that two out of two? It is two out of two. Strongest target. Just, we want to keep putting that on the same. Damage mod. Damage mod. Damage mod. Damage mod. Great. We should be fine. Ah, I see. Oh my god, I thought that was I thought I was gonna be fine. I don't know why I'm saving my items even at the end of the video, but like I just felt like I could. Oh, we didn't take any damage, that's why. It would have been a dumb idea to do it. Act X? Wait, what? Ah, the shapeless. Okay, well fine, I'll do one more then. Curious. Well, like, I. <laughs> what, is, what do I do with that intel then? Well, I'm glad we don't have anything coming because this would have been awful. We're gonna get super duper armor. We're at 20 HP. We can save up our energy and it's okay, but like. This is what I want. This is what I want to have here. Like, this is the ideal. I like that you get a set up. That's kind of... Kind of generous in a way. Hmm. Do we just go up, up? Here, then we have to loop around. There, I don't know that we're gonna be able to do anything like that fancy there. So sure. I like. I really don't know what we are going to need. No freaking clue. Damage mod. Boom. Boom. Just keep on putting that on that. What well, we can for now. Pistol tower. I'd rather probably have that be a sniper, so let's save. Bonus shield. Basic tower. Five. We're at five. Ay, 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 ay. Give me like a little bit of. I don't know. Unless I'm gonna, I'm not gonna burn. Will I? Oh, actually, there's no real overlap. Maybe this is a a, a proper burn. Okay. Little bit of everything. 
proper burn. We got this going. You're a two two. Seven. Okay, this we are about to be dare. Oops, probably not the best. Bonus shield for the road. Some damage ups for the road. What? Oh. Wait, what? Does it just keep on going through? Oh. Oh, so you just keep on playing until you can kill it. Right? Is that what's happening? Strange. Strange, but kind of nifty. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of promise here. There's a lot of really interesting ideas here. I, I think it's very fun. I think I, I like it a lot. I like the core concept of it. So much, like, unbelievable room for uh, growth and expansion. And obviously something like this, you know, like a little tweak here and there goes a long way on a, on a different card. Uh, different modified effects. Like, you could release a pack of cards, you know, just an update could have 10 cards and it would drastically change what you know what you can do in the game and the depth and everything uh yeah i don't know just I, I feel like having the ability to click and drag the cards would be nice this like kind of blurry background is a little funky uh right now you know like just a couple of quality of life things here you know having different tiers of the units have different visual effects to them like those are big things that i would say other than that just like keep on going with a different uh potential build variety everything like that and i think you got, like, a really nice game for three bucks here. Like, looking at uh, some of the stuff from the Steam page, there there's uh, certainly some stuff, some pretty noticeable things that I missed. Like, I'm saying, yeah, there's, like, there's a, I see a frost thing. I see different types of towers I didn't see. Um, but, yeah, like, that, maybe, like, specific nodes to, like, on the map to modify your deck as well obviously like if there's gonna be cards that are zero cost that are draw two cards it's gonna need to be kind of limited because you could easily go infinite so that's a like a zero cost two card draw is a is a recipe that is like it is a potentially a one card infinite <laughs> if you have a small enough deck you <laughs> in, if, <laughs> you could literally just have infinite health but hey, alas, alas, though, uh, really fun concept. I think people are going to really like it. And three bucks. Hey, what are you going to do? It's it's a slapper for that price. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelix and more every single day if that is the kind of genre you're into. This is the channel that you should be subscribed to, especially if it's a tower defense roguelike deck builder that you're looking for. Because if any of those exist, this channel will cover it. Let me tell you that. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. As said, check the channel. Roguelix and more every single day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.